Hey guys! Alright folks, we're here today to check out a video song from Silosis. By the way, these guys just dropped a surprise EP and some people are saying it's album of the year. I don't know if an EP can be an album of the year, but uh, half well, an album the, of the year. I was going to say, the name EP definitely uh, takes it away from that, but it could be EP of the year. It could be EP of the year. So anyways, the name of the song is The Path, and it features Debbie uh, Goff of Harriet. Harriet also just released a brand new record this year. So this is uh, what I like to call uh, a, Brit a British uh, Dutch rudder. So it's more like a British rudder. It's a British rudder. A British rudder. All right. Um, Everyone wants to go double Dutch. Not many people want to go double British. Yeah, uh, I, I, feel, I feel like I, I feel like there's a joke there, but I'm not quite sure exactly how far I can go on said joke. <laughs> so I'm, I'm treading lightly. That's kind of where I am right now when it comes to British jokes. Um, okay, so you are you done with this? Yeah. All right. Okay.
holy shit, I haven't even heard the whole EP, but based on this song alone, uh, alone, I'm starting to think that people are right. Holy fuck. Fuck. Dude. And Miss Debbie was amazing. Fuck. She's amazing on the new record anyways. The band released uh, a new record this year. I reviewed it on the channel. You guys can go check that out. So, uh, fuck. I, I can't believe how much she added to how good this song is. Dude, it was a nice, like... The song is already punching you, but I, I feel like when she came in, it was like a right hook. Like, Yeah, that's like like going from a hurricane category 4 to a category 5. Mm -hmm. As it makes landfall. Oh, in Tampa. Fuck yeah, man. <laughs> not fuck yeah, man. Oh. Well, not, not, maybe not. But you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. Fuck. There goes a fucking cow. There goes a fucking cow. Yeah, because every time there's like one of those tornadoes or hurricanes, there's always a cow that goes. Whenever flying. a tornado hits, I mean a hurricane hits, some tornadoes are, are you know they spawn in. Sometimes. Yeah, whatever he said. Anyways, fuck. The song was fucking hitting hard, and then she comes on, and she's just like the exclamation mark on the fucking track. Yeah. Like once again, I honestly didn't know what kind of impact she was gonna have on the song, but wow, she had a great impact on the track. She like took this song from like 10 and she turned it all the way to 11. That's that's the impact that she had on the track. And the <sighs> track fucking kills. Yeah, the track does kill. But like, dude, ever since we listened to these for the first time, I, I always knew like... I wasn't sold the first time I was. You weren't sold the first time I was. I don't know what the fuck was wrong with me, but... Dude, so good. But, but I converted quickly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like well, the first... it just took the second song. To yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the first ever track we checked off from Salos is on the channel. I, I didn't really vibe with it. But after that, I got I got on the train really quick. So, but fuck, man, dude, so good, so fucking good. Yeah, it's uh, it's silosis. I mean, you kind of have to come to expect this kind of shit. But these guys, one well, of the we, best bands out there. Yeah, I mean, this is their sound, right? But I think having her has added a little bit uh, more to um, made the song way better. That yeah, it just made the song way better. I mean, because they, they're they're already they already they already make good shit like consistent and. That's, I, I think it's been a while since I've listened to some Silosis, so that's why it hit me even harder. It's like uh, when you take a while from, you know, smoking the ganja, and then you smoke it, and then... I wish these guys... I mean, I know they were part... I think they're part of the, the Bullet from My Valentine Trivium Tour, but they're not playing... Oh, but they're not but if playing... If they're part of that tour, I, I would be like... Uh... They are part of that tour. I, I can't remember if they're part of the European side of the tour. Or the North American. Or, because the North American... There's two legs in North America. There's the, like there's one half and then there's the second mm -hmm. half. So I think they might be doing the first half of the leg. So they're not doing the second half of the leg, which is the one that we have uh, in Toronto. So kind of bummed out that, that we don't get to see these guys. Because I would love to see these guys oh, live. Dude, are you Fuck, me? What a great band they are. That would tear the place up. The problem for me is like I probably would go to see them and then leave. Because <laughs> I, you know, don't get me wrong. Uh, don't get me wrong. I love. Uh, I love. Don't get me wrong. But I, I've gone to a show like many moons ago. I went to see Judas Priest and the band opening for Judas Priest was Slayer. So after seeing Slayer, I was like, for as much as I like Judas Priest, I'm like. <sighs> Like, after Slayer, like, Shooter's Priest just, like... It doesn't cut it, it right? It just doesn't cut it. Like, fuck. Fuck, you would need to, like... The whole time I was like... Guys. I was like, no, you need... you Like, I, I want the build-up to, to lead you somewhere, not the build-up to be before the... It's where you actually like, want to go. I, I feel like when it comes to, like, this, <sighs> these guys would come on. It would be like... It would be... I'm going to bring another band out. It would be like having the, that same Trivium set, but then instead of these guys opening, it's Kublai Khan, Texas. After that, I'm going home. Because after that Kublai Khan set, I would feel so dehydrated and stuff. Like, I, I would need to... I, That's kind of how the Lorna Shore show went. Because <laughs> because Sengi Superbar, <coughs> Kublai Khan, those guys set the bar so high, then Whitechapel after, for as good as Whitechapel are live... They actually didn't hit that hard. But, but it was just like... Uh, Personally, at least, uh, Whitechapel kinda... didn't... Uh, for that show, Whitechapel didn't hit as hard as Kublai Khan. Or, or saying Sugar Or saying But, Sugar but yeah. anyways, so I'm saying is I love these guys. I love this collab. I love this collab. Oh, so good. And, and speaking of Slayer, that guitar solo, Jeff Hanneman would have been proud. Because when I heard that guitar solo on the track, I was like, man, that solo could fit any song in Seasons in the Abyss. And funny enough, uh, you said this in the first um, Silosis video we did, that uh, the riff sounded like a Slayer riff. 
like something Slayer would do. Mm-hmm. And the, that's the, true. The, I remember that. That was the reason why you didn't like the song. I know, but in this solo, this is a. a the, I'm not saying it's a rip. I think you got to re-listen to that first song. I'm not saying I'm not saying it's a rip, but I'm saying is that this solo it it gave me like Jeff Henneman vibes. It just gave me like old school Slayer vibes. This solo, Um, but uh, but their sound is not is not Slayer. Obviously, they have their own sound, but their sound is incredible. But they do have their own sound. But Debbie was like. Fuck. And that video, the video is very cool. I, I really yeah, it's it. it's kind of simplistic. It's but simplistic, it just, but it just know, delivers. Black and white videos are with fire. Come on, dude. That's like it's half the battle right there. Yeah, and I'm not gonna make any Debbie uh, jokes. Yeah, yeah. I, I I'm just I know for those of you waiting, it's not coming. It's not coming. No, no, it's not no, happening. No. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have used that word either. But anyways, uh, yeah. So leave it there. But uh, phenomenal collaboration, I must mm-hmm. say. Fuck, great track, great sound, great vocals. Love the guitar sound, uh, man! I love everything about these guys too. The guitar, I, the guitar. I feel like the same bite the guitar uh, that you get from the guitar, you still get from his vocals. Like, yeah, his yeah. His vocals yeah, yeah. have a fucking bite. But the, but their guitar sound and is the just bite so has fucking like, cool, man. The bite is like an over is an underbite, like fucking strong jaw, like that shit's crazy. His vocals, the his vocals are the perfect fit for the band and it, it just it elevates where you're already getting your ass kicked by the music i know but i have to go back to this when she came in when she came in dude there was like there was a mic drop dude when she came in i put my guard down and then boom <sighs> like right to when the she end. came in i was like oh fuck i was already completely like i, I was even thinking because it she doesn't show up early in the track she comes a little bit deeper mm-hmm. in the track I was already thinking, where the fuck are they going to put her vocals in? I'm thinking in my mind, like, what's happening here? Because we, we're already moving along. And the song is already so fucking good. Like, what's happening here? But when she came in, it's like, it's one of those, get the fuck out of the way. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it was really fucking good. I, 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 I just love the way this song is put together. Just fucking love this shit. More silosis is what we need. Never mind an EP. We need a full length record yeah, yeah, yeah. and a full on North American tour. Never mind supporting these these legacy bands. Build your own legacy. Do your own fucking tour. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Do a whole British shit. Bring a couple of like like Barry Tomorrow, Silosis, Malevolence. Malevolence, Harriet. Just just bring a whole like new British invasion. Yeah, new new, new, British, new wave of British core. British Invasion, just call that the tour. Yeah, whatever, just bring a bunch of you guys all together. Fuck. You know what I'm saying? It's something that should be done. I know, I know. That's all I'm saying, that's all I'm saying. Bring it all together. Similar to what uh, uh, Love is Blind did, when they did the British one, and everybody on the show had good teeth. So they only casted British people with good teeth. Like, all of them. But that's why there wasn't as many people on that show than the normal Love is Blind. The cast was a cut in half. Yeah, yeah, because of that. That was like a high requirement, that a, hard, a yeah. high bar that not everybody was able to They also cheated. So. I think there was someone from Wales. Doesn't count. Still counts as United Kingdom. What, was it Love is Blind United Kingdom? Or? No, it was like uh, UK. Yeah, yeah, oh, so yeah. yeah. Love is Blind UK, so yeah. Well, so they got everyone from the UK itself. With good teeth. The UK itself. That's yeah. multiple countries right there. I know, I know, but it's it's small it's small pickings. Like, I mean, there's not a lot. The, the, the pool... Of talent is not is not wide, True. so that's why they did the UK. If it was only like England, Love Is Blind, it would have been like four couples with good teeth. So like they had to go broader. They had to yeah. they had to throw a bigger net, if you will, and bring some Scottish guys, some Wales, a girl from Ireland, you know, two two Sheilas from you know like from uh, God knows where Newcastle. You know what I mean? From Newca- yeah, that, that's their own country. Nobody's part of the UK. Yeah, you know, yeah. they brought somebody from uh, the Isle of Man, from Wrexham. The Isle of Man isn't the Isle of Man technically part I, of the UK? I, I don't know if it's technically part of the UK though. They have their own set of rules and regulations. They have their own flag. I know. So I don't the know. Falklands Islands. Uh, it's not part of the UK, but it's like a UK like sp- sp- spawn. <laughs> it's like they they have control of it. Uh. We still have them on our money. That doesn't mean we send people there with good teeth oh, for that show. Oh, dude, we should have. No, we're going to have our own. There's oh. going to be a Love is Blind Canada. Perfect. So, there you go. Everyone's going to be so polite. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's going to take them like three episodes for one couple to break yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think, like, that's how long it's going to take them to break up. It's like, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, yeah, I'm sorry. You're sorry. I'm sorry. 
Or it's going to take one episode for one couple to even just, like, do the whole thing. I don't know. I'm, I'm still waiting to see what, what that's going to be all about. But anyways, Silosis, I'm sure all of them have great teeth. Uh, because their music definitely bites. Mm-hmm. See, see that segue there? Yeah, yeah. That was fucking good. So, all right, just like the song. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Thank you for the support. Um, and hit us up in the comment section. Uh, let us know what you're thinking about this latest uh, surprise EP by Silosis. Uh, and all the songs in it. This is the my first taste of it. So hit us up in the comment section. We'll see you all at the next one. See ya.